welcome back to Walking Dead! I don't know how it happened, but somehow when I was recording it didn't record the sound of the fucking game. So now I have to play it again. Well... You won't have to watch me die a couple times, I guess. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. Well, this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Great. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clint, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, huh? Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? I didn't cross my mind. Yeah, Katya asked for some water, but not gonna help him. How's that? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. I'm sure let's say that. Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. Yeah? We have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Okay, then. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Poor Carly and dead. Are you and okay? Dead. I know you were fond of her. I was. I was. This isn't any time for, you know, romance, but yeah. I was uh, fond of her, yeah. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. I don't think Kenny wants to talk. Hey man, we're still looking around and haven't figured much out yet. It's fine. Radiator could use a rest as it is. Well, let me tell you this. Um, I got beaten up by Kenny while I was recording and the voices were gone. Maybe I'll put that somewhere without the voice. Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? So that happened. I don't think Duck feels good. Uh, me neither. Okay. I'll go take a look around. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? Yeah! It's with you guys are dead. I would have died out there in the woods. He really Just would. like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. I'm not gonna ask, was it you? Because... It doesn't do anything. He's just, no, it wasn't me! Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. He's actually a nice guy. I'll take the maps. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. Alrighty then. Oh yeah, the water. I'll take this to Kendra for Duck. Yeah, I'll do that. And I'll go here. Okay. 
Okay, this is where I need to come later. Um, then I'll take the tool with me. Yep. I'm gonna take this one. Or this one, spike remover. I don't think it really matters actually. I think these don't have anything, but uh, let me check again anyway. Nope. And this is the last one. Nothing. Okay, he's dead. Actually dead. We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. <laughs> Suppose we ought to look him over. Yeah. Did you see his eye? <laughs> I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push, Push it. it! Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? Yep. I think so. This hoss will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. Um, yeah. We just have to figure out how to get it started. I'm sure we can figure it out. How tough could it be? No idea. But we'll find out. That's the spirit. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kinda see the indentations from the writing. All right, let me go get the... It would be cool if I could just solve it and then they could be like, Oh, miracle! Whatever, you know? Or this is my first time, or... I watched the movie once and it, I just remembered how to do it. It'd just be funny. Can I take a it? Pencil. Sharpen too. Thanks. Can I listen to the radio? No. Alright, let's go. There should be animal clackers somewhere. Pretty sure. Maybe not in here. Alright. I'll give the water to Katja. Go. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. I found some animal 
crackers the other time. I don't remember where I found them. Perfect. You can read it Perfect. now? Perfect. Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Yeah. So, let's go to six. Up. Up. Um. Up. Up. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Let's go here. Now we're talking. And that one is up, right? Oh, no, no, no. Let me see. Yeah, that looks good. Now, we go to nine. Which is outside. Okay, that was the right one. And then the back. Holy shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Yeah, let's just ignore Mom, the fact that your son move. is bitten. All yours. All right, let's go. Right. Damn it. <laughs> of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? And get us unstuck? Sure. Yeah. Any my stuff. Yeah, I did, Chuck. That okay? I took the map. I took the map of the trade routes. That's fine. You can have that. Really? Yeah. I got them all right up here. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? Glad you did. But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too.
You're welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on the... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Okay. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. Hope so. So that's it? We're cut loose? Yep. Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Want a ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. Sorry if there was too much background noise. Is oh, the train shit. really a good idea with duck like that? Oh god. We should focus on one thing at I a time. I don't need to say that. Yes. What can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Alright. I guess it wasn't that bad. Shit. <laughs> okay, this is where I got beaten up by Kenny before. Well, not here exactly, but we're almost there. I'll probably edit that in somewhere to show you how I got beaten up because this time around I'm not going to get beaten up by Kenny. It was a mistake. <laughs> the first time around, I mean. He looks so bad. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults, taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. There were more of us. Dad get them? Nope. No. Ah, living got them. Yeah. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Of course not. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? Sure. He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. 
This way? Yeah. You need to stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? The beginning of a walker. He'll be fine. We get to the coast and maybe meet up with people who have this shit figured out. He hasn't at that time. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. Okay, it's I a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Can I say no? Stop the train. This isn't about drugs. Stop the train. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? Am I gonna get beat up again? Please, no. I don't know what's wrong with you, but... Back off. Uh, That's what I figured. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Duck? This isn't about Duck. The hell it's not. You think we're pals and you know me? You're some elitist prick with a fancy education who can pick me apart? It's not like that. The fuck it isn't. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill him. You need to get over it. You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid. The bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. <laughs> the only reason I'm laughing is because I'm glad I didn't get beaten up 10 to stop the train this time. The reason I got beaten up was because I said, um, I think I said something like, you killed Sean and you killed your son or something like that, it's your fault, but I didn't mean it like that. I didn't say it's your fault, obviously, Again, it's, probably. I think it's there was a choice, I'll put it somewhere. I said that and it sound, it came out The boy's wrong. been bit. In case you haven't figured that out. What do you need? What do you need? I... I... Cut. Maybe? It's time to... Oh, this is not possible. What are we gonna do? I'll die. We can't allow him to become one of those things. What? What if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Kat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep, right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know, but we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, 
It should be apparent. No parents would have to do something like this. Lee's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Cat! <laughs> Cat! Gotcha! Why? Cat! Honey! Oh, fucking God! <laughs> oh my God! I... I... Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. How you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. 
No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We do what's best for Clementine. Oh, well then, you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. He's right about the gun. I'm not a barber. It ain't gotta be styled, Jesus. You gotta run around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before Walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. Explain to her how they work and not to be afraid. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. I'm sorry to hear that. No one to blame. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. I got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there. About whether or not you folks want company. Be safe up here. You betcha. Yeah, Kenny's story got me a little bit impressed, but it's okay. Our uh, next episode is Christian Perfect. Haircut, teach me how to use a gun, all that good stuff. Bye!